Nigeria, the central bank has issued some new directives, uh, which uh, we've taken a look at over the last 24 hours. One of them, of course, is that the sales to BDCs, that's Bureau de Change, uh, are at $10,000, but the, the rates is at 1,101 to the dollar, which is under uh, where the market closed, that's the uh, NAFEM rate, about 1,002. Also, banks are no longer allowed to use U.S. dollar as uh, collateral for Naira loans. We'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, let's take a look at some earnings uh, coming through. Uh, GTCO, of course, gross earnings uh, 1.1 trillion, 120% climb. Interest income climb by 69%. Profit before tax 184%. Profit after tax 539 billion Naira to 219% gain. FX revaluation gains playing a role there. Let's uh, move on to uh, Zenith uh, Bank also. Uh, healthy earnings as well, 2.1 trillion in gross earnings, interest income, triple digit growth. Same thing with profit before tax and profit after tax of 600. And seven billion. I think we've got uh, yes, UBA, United Bank of Africa, gross earnings at two trillion, interest income at a trillion naira, profit before tax and profit after tax, posting triple digits uh, gr growth for the company. And uh, we already looked at uh, Access Bank, but just uh, since we're looking at TO1 banks, Access Bank, of course, released their earnings about last week. Gross earnings, 2.6 trillion. Their profit after tax, 300%. I think that's the highest in the company's uh, history. And then taking a look at, um, that's the comparison of the banks. That's, that's what we have as far as their income statements are concerned. And then also the balance sheets as well. Who better than Arise Business Analyst, Chika Bono? Uh, to discuss. Uh, Chika, you're very welcome. Good morning to you. Hi, Rutus. Happy for, thank, Salah. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for joining us. Say time to you. Yeah, um, um, so let, me, let me start with the... The banks? The, no, no, no. The, um, the CBN. CBN, okay. Yes, let me start the, with the CBN so, so that um, we will we'll spend more time yes. with the banks. All right. So, and, um, so what do you make of the updates? Well, I mean, the, the, the CBN um, um, memo came out and said that banks you know, cannot... Um, lend against foreign currency balances right, again. Right, right. You know. the, the, the truth is that this policy was, I think, selectively pushed out in um, September last year mm. when Central Bank did examination of some, some banks yes. and found out the level of um, 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 loans guaranteed by the dollar account balances of these banks. And right. so they put out that, they sent it, wrote some banks specifically and so this time around is now a universal memo, mm. communication to all the banks. And then what are the issues? Again, um, <laughs> remember when we talked about the, the domestic dollar, dollar bonds? Yes. Remember we talked about that I think, a few days ago? Yeah. We talked about that um, um, the chess is, the, 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 the gun is um, aimed at the $30 billion odd plus minus domestic account uh, Balance. balances. Yeah, yeah. And when I was talking about the, 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 the domestic dollar bond, I said the, when people are keeping... Um, um, the natural thing, actually, is that you run a business in the country, for yeah. example, Nigeria, this money you spend here is Naira. So if you bring in your $1 million into Nigeria, yeah. okay, the natural thing is that your expectation is to convert it to Naira to use in doing your business in Nigeria. Mm. But when a, some, a company, an individual, goes ahead to say, hold my money in dollars yes. and lend me Naira against it, it means that they are focusing on asset protection, you know, value protection. Yes. Basically, we are not sure that by the time they want to, you know, change the character of our Naira to the dollar again, you know, the rate will now not move against us because exactly. of the patents, the variations in the foreign, the local currency. That has been a major issue. That will say that the holding of domestic account by a lot of people is not on basis of chasing investment or interest rate, but on asset protection. Yes. And so the government has been aiming uh, that. Why go out there to go and be borrowing euro bonds from international companies when locally Nigerians are holding those, those kind of balances? What can we incentivize them? Mm. You know, make it attractive for them to pass on those money to us to do the works we're going to do instead of going to borrow from Eurobonds. Right. You know, so you know, so that's that. So a lot of people now bring their dollar in. They say lend naira against 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 that to us, 
And so the issue now, Central Bank has said, is this. No, we will not allow that again. Mm. If, you have, if you have done that practice, all the loans, you know, back to, back up that, you must send the dollars to liquidate those uh, loans. Right. Those loans must be liquidated. In 90 days, right? In, within 90 days. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you don't do that, in calculating your risk assets, uh, uh, capital, they're going to, you know, you're going to counter for 150% yeah. of the penalty. That is... In addition to other penalties. Yeah. You know, so the, the question then, I've, I've spoken to about two or three treasurers mm. and risk managers, and the issue I said, let's say they you have about $30 billion in dumb accounts. Okay. How many of them are, are, collateralized, are collateralizing Naira loans? Yeah. Or what, what percentage? And I got some people said 10%, some people said... 15%, some people say 20%. Mm. Let's even say it's 20%. Let's say it's 30% okay. of the $30 billion. Yeah. I'm collateralizing local Naira loans. Yeah. So if those are, uh, are, are recirculated and put back to convert to Naira, so we'll have about maybe $8 to $9 billion yeah. that will move from, moves into the, we convert it to Naira. Right. Again, the bigger picture is it provides liquidity. You know, to the system. Yeah. So, government had achieved, or the central bank had achieved, uh, one of the, one of the objective, which is like, you know, trying to get dollars. You know, this dumb account that people are holding. How how are we going to get lay our hands on it? Yeah. So that's one of the ways. So the other way they want to do again. And remember, we said is that the domestic bonds they want to, to issue. issue. Yeah. Basically, I thought about that last time. I said in dumb account now, some people have been paid. I mean, some some something confirmed that some people have been paid. About six percent because of the so far the rates are broad now about five point seventy percent. Right, right. So the issue therefore is if you have been paid that amount in your dumb account, the government is coming like akin to similar to treasury based yeah, yeah, yeah. saying okay we want to issue dollar domestic um, dollar bonds, and uh, what from what I hear they want to put it about two percent above. The euro bond rates that Nigeria borrowed from. That is juicy. <laughs> you with me, are we? Yeah, it's it's juicy. It. Now, nice if you use the threshold, they remember that the the NMPC Afrix Zim loan, yeah. dollar loan, the three billion plus dollars plus, came in about uh, twelve point three, twelve point four right. percent. Right. So if you put two percent on top of that, you know the euro bond rate. I don't know. That will give you about fourteen percent. Yeah, yeah. Compared to about maybe five, six percent you're getting from your bank now in your dumb account. Right. So there's a lot of you know incentive mm. to move from that to the fourteen percent or twelve percent as the case may be. Right. But remember what I professor I added. The professor added that so you get a dollar note I owe you from the government. Yeah. Or the federal bank who owe you one million dollars, mm. which has moved from your dumb account to that. Treasury we quote note now. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Bond. Now the issue therefore is at maturity of the bond, do we trust the government enough mm. to pay us back in dollars? Right. Or would they arbitrarily Convert. because say in the interest of the nation? Yeah. You know, you're gonna pay in Naira at the rolling rate. In the interest now. of the nation. You know, I'm gonna pay. <laughs> so I'm just saying again, for those, you know, because I told you in Nigeria we are very shallow in our thinking and when we're planning things. Yeah. You know, do we um do we uh, let them put this in the basket when they are planning the product? Yeah. The issue of trust. Right. Is also because the decision will be like, should I take my dumb account balance and invest in this note, mm. this bond, and get the government I owe you that I owe you me one million dollars? Could they pay me after two or three years? Right. You know, after two or three years, would they actually pay me back in dollars? So that would be the unique selling point. Okay. For those who are you know planning this domestic bond product, yeah. they should work on that. Mm. And if I were them, if I'm in the room strategizing about this, that's what I'm going to focus on. Okay? Trust, yeah. trust, 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 trust. Okay, okay. okay? Yeah, but I mean, is is in that line? Um, um, I looked at all the authorities for the individuals. Mm. Uh, um, you know, would you convert it, transfer it abroad, and those? And the cost of, of that will be will be will be enormous. Yeah, because they have to change the character from Nigeria, move it again, get a bank guarantee. Because allow you to get they allow you to get foreign bank guarantees or SBLCs yeah. to secure your loans instead of putting cash dollars uh, here. Okay. 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 Uh, so we'll wait and see how that will play out. Right, so work but out. I mean, twenty twenty percent of the holding now, thirty percent of the holding now, that will give us about between six billion and nine billion dollars that will come back to fund the market. But I remember I said yesterday that again, we wonder what will happen because a lot of these dollars, dollar account balance have been 
you know, um, swapped for with, swaps, yeah. with Central Bank yeah, yeah. and the existing paper only. Mm. Okay? Um, any seasons? Yes, any the seasons. banks, yes. And in the, 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 the Fugas banks, mm. um, I think the one that is missing, there are five of them, the one that is missing there now is um, First, First Bank. bank. Yeah. So we have Access Bank, um, Zenith Bank, UB and, and GT, and then um, what is missing there is um, First Bank. Yes, I mean, indeed. It's a season, you know, for the banks. And you can't analyze the performance of these banks now without looking at what has transpired. Between last year, when they transcended their balance sheet and they, they, their income segment at 461, about 465 dollars to naira to one dollar. Yes. Most of them used at the end of the year the NAFEX rate they used to do their balance sheet was nine eighty one, uh, one 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 dollar to one nine eighty one naira. Right. So you can see the 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 movement in exchange rates, and that has salt salutary impact on their earnings. On the earnings. Yeah. Especially a lot of the big banks were holding strong dollar positions, and when those are translated into other strong dollar positions or dollar assets. And that's, you know, um, either on the FX line mm. or the assets, assets um, line, you know, a lot of them had, you know, increase in their profitability arise from that. Yeah. So you can see the growth in the not an, an, an gross earnings. As some when you're pushing the figures, a lot of them double their gross earnings. It's, <laughs> not, normal, it's not normal. I mean, yeah. there have been some, re some reports that normalize the results of the banks. Mm. And that's less... Pull out the part of FX and the growth were not as stupendous. Right, right, as they, exactly. They are this time around. Yeah. yeah. But it's, this is what we'll have, this is what we'll, they're going to pay dividends from this time around. And um, a lot of issues are at play here, you know, but there are some things we can't say on air. But let's, let's just say the <laughs> uh, yeah, gross earnings for the, those four that have come out now. Yeah. Uh, Access Bank comes up tops, 2.6 trillion massively. Yeah. yeah. Um, PBT, um, again, um, Zenith comes, uh, comes back tops. 795 billion. Yep. You know, massive. You know, massive. And then, of course, PAT, I, know, I usually pay less attention to that because you can do a lot of jumbo in your tax, um, <laughs> tax planning. Yeah. But on gross earnings, interest income, and that, you know. So, Zenith, uh, Access Bank go about, you know, the gross earnings are the champion there. Yeah. yeah. You know, PBT, uh, uh, Zenith. Now, you, you, there, there's a scenario that's emerging here, yeah. which when I finish the balance sheet, I look at that. Uh, out of the top top five banks, the top four that will have the result now, you said that GT, for example, yeah, he came in at gross earnings, for example, one point one trillion. Yes. Now, access came in at two point six trillion. That's right. That's so right. a massive one point five trillion gap between gap, the two. Gap between the two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 Zenith came in two point one trillion in gross earnings, about one trillion above GT. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to size. Total assets. Okay, balance sheet. Balance sheet, yeah. balance sheet now. Balance sheet, okay. Ax you know, Access Bank, mm. again, has the, the, the flag, you know. 26 uh, trillion. Yeah, yeah, 6 trillion. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, we haven't seen first bank result, but I'm, I'll be surprised if um, this happens. But yeah. Zenith has been, this is the count that Zenith has wanted at all costs. <laughs> the largest <laughs> bank in Nigeria, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. And Zenith is like, it's like chasing, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, you send bolts. Yeah. Um, as they are running, Access Bank is, uh, you know, pressing them more and more. So then it came out with twenty point three trillion. Yeah. You know, and um, and then UBA came in about twenty point six trillion. Yeah. I still believe that UBA um, has the capacity to do twice of this. Oh wow! Because you know that 21, 21 to African countries. That's correct. Yes. And slowly. The African subsidiaries are contributing more to the, to the things happening in UBA. Yeah. And I, have, I'm, I won't be surprised, you know. I keep telling them that, you know, they, they can do more. Yeah. They can double this balance sheet. Oh, wow. But that's the, the story for me here. The yeah. GT. Remember, let's say, GT at 9.6 trillion right, total right. asset. And then um, assets at 26.3 trillion, almost, almost like... More than double yeah. the side of assets, uh, oh, GT. GT yeah. Zen is almost more than double the side of GT. Yeah. UBA more than the size of the double of GT. So, the question then they ask yourself does size matter? Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, if you talk to uh, Mr. Sugar about just sometimes, Sugar yeah. will tell I said, Sugar, look at how these people are, you know, they're getting fatter and fatter. You know. Sugar said, you know, my bank is as lean as me. No, Sugar likes it <laughs> yes. like that. But the issue is the size matter. Right. That's him. But, he will tell you that his concern 
is on his ratios. Yeah. And that's why I'm going to push this to the end. Like cost of funds, cost of fund, uh, cost of uh, cost to income ratio, mm. cost of income ratio for the banks. Okay, for example, um, GT comes in at twenty nine percent, twenty nine percent. Okay. So for every hundred naira they end, they spend twenty nine naira. Yeah. Okay. Access Bank spends forty nine naira. GT high. spends twenty nine naira. Access forty nine. Access forty nine naira. Yeah. Then it spends forty five naira. And then um, UB spends 36 naira. So, uh, so GT is the so, lowest. So, so, so is the lowest. The leanest. Leanest. Yeah, yeah. Now, do that, let me look at profitability ratio. Profit margin. Mm. Uh, uh, profit, uh, profit margin. Okay, PBT margin. Look at this. Z the assets is 28%. Okay. Oh, let, me, let me start from GT. GT is 51.5%. Oh, wow. That's healthy. Yeah. Assets bank is 28%. Yeah. Are you following me now? Yeah, I'm yeah. ending now. Yeah. 28%. Mm. And then Zenit is 36%. And then UBA is at seven percent. So GT says, "Oh, size doesn't matter. You can't can, can become further than me at efficiency. Uh, at my efficiency level is yeah, yeah. Gonna be, you're going to be higher. Yeah, yeah. So if dollar banks get a little more efficient, yeah. they can compete compete favorably with GTB on these ratios. We we'll have to wait to see First Bank. First Bank as well. Go, yes. All right, business analyst Chicken, well, the best in the business when yeah. it comes to the <laughs> financial markets analysis. Thank you so much, Chicken. Thank Appreciate you. Thank